Good morning to everyone. Training about uh, firmware development. So by introducing myself uh, as a senior firmware engineer in uh, private concern, I have uh, totally five plus years experience in uh, firmware development in various industries like automation, biomedical oriented devices and IoT domains. And hands on uh, many real successfully implemented uh, many real time projects like uh, wearable ECG monitoring device and uh, security device for uh, petroleum industries. In my experience, I handled uh, many 8 bit and uh, 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit microcontrollers in my projects and also handles uh, many industrial uh, IDEs, which is uh, closely related to automation industries. So in uh, today's session, we are going to see about uh, uh, what is firmware and a brief explanation about uh, firmware and what is the difference between firmware and software. When we're talking about the word firmware, uh, whenever I, I came to explain my uh, career about uh, firmware, many people don't know about the word firmware. It's a technical word. An ordinary person can't understand the word firmware. But while we are saying about uh, software, uh, they can easily understand what is the software because uh, nowadays everyone are using PC, personal computer. So they can easily understand uh, what is software. But when I explained about uh, I'm a firmware developer, they can't understand. But the real thing is uh, the things around us are uh, uh, mostly come under having the firmware. For example, while we're taking a smartphone, a smart TV, or washing machine, microwave oven, TV remote, everything around us having the firmware. So what's the main difference and uh, what is firmware? We have to know about that. So mostly software, uh, when comparing uh, with the, uh, when taking as a example, piece, uh, personal computer. So we are doing uh, many operations in, by using the software. The, we can use many applications. We are opening a Word document, the paint. What are the, uh, the, this is a general purpose. We can do the things, many things in that. But the firmware is designed to do a specific task. So it's a pre-programmed one. And the main thing, the hardware, uh, small hardware will be controlled here. So firmware is used to control a hardware and do a specific task in a repeated manner. This is the main difference between the software and firmware. And when coming to the size of the program, when uh, comparing to software and uh, firmware, so software is doing many various things, various applications. Program size, uh, code size will be in uh, gigahertz, uh, megahertz and gigahertz. Gigabytes. But when uh, comparing to firmware, designed to do a specific task. So the size of the code will be very small. It will be in only kilobytes. The software is uh, operated uh, with the user interface and every and each and every time we have to feed uh, some input to open a uh, operate and software. But firmware is uh, automated. Wherever the automation is come, the firmware will be come. So for example, when we are uh, taking a, already I have told about the washing machine. When a, as a normal person, we can see the washing machine is used to, uh, just to, uh, used to wash the clothes and we are uh, controlling some settings like that. But they have a circuitry inside the washing machine to operate uh, the uh, sensors and uh, timers, everything, to control the, the is a pre-programmed. They have some controls to operate that uh, process. So this is done with the pre-program. It was already flashed into it. So when comparing to software, software can be updated uh, whenever we required. User can update uh, whenever uh, we required, we can update easily. But firmware, we can't update like that. It will be without uh, developer knowledge, we can't update the firmware because it was under the control, uh, is, is using to control the hardware. So it requires some, external circuitry to update the firmware. For example, if you are want, want to change the operation of a washing machine or a microwave oven, you need to replace with the new version. You need to completely change your uh, product. This is the main difference between software and firmware. So in this course, we are going to cover about uh, where are the firmware in what firmware is using, what are the things we need to implement to develop a complete product. These are the things we are going to see in this training.
so this course will covered with what are the microcontrollers available in the market how can we choose a microcontroller for a specific application and what are the communication protocols we are uh, we are having and how to communicate with the peripherals these are the things we are going to see in this course the communication is a main part in the firmware because uh, firmware will be depending on the device it will be an uh, in independent uh, module or will, it will be a part of a large module when comparing to washing machine and uh, car automation a washing machine have a single circuitry to to control every peripherals like sensors and timers everything but while taking car they have a small modules for example uh, they have a braking system temperature control system airbag system and uh, door controlling system like everything so uh, most of the firmware devices are a part of a module so we need to communicate uh, each controller to a main processor like that for that we, we need uh, some industrial communication protocols to communicate with each other so in this course we will cover with uh, that communication protocols also and uh, the have peripherals uh, we need to communicate uh, externally with the microcontroller so these are all also communicated with uh, some serial communications or parallel communication and these are all the things we are going to see so after completed this training you can see the things in a different point of view before this course you can even you see a forcing machine you will just uh, understand what is the action it's doing what's the performance is doing like that uh, you can see but after completing this course you can see the whenever you see the washing machine you can think about the technology behind that uh, product what are, what is the firmware inside it what are the things we are controlling what are the inputs we are giving and what what's the output after completing this course uh, we, we can develop a firmware by our own for our application wherever we are uh, going with automation without any user interface or a uh, repeated task we are going with firmware so after completing this you can develop your own firmware by uh, controlling to control uh, sensors and output uh, lcds uh, leds and uh, very peripherals as i explained uh, before uh, in market uh, firmware development is a very good method because uh, they have uh, many appliances and uh, electronic devices are using firmware so where in most in many industries we are having this opportunity as a firmware developer so wherever the automation is coming the firmware development will be there so you can join as a firmware uh, embedded firmware developer or a firmware tester or an uh, analyst like that uh, in very uh, in uh, many industries like uh, car automation or a uh, defense or uh, in the biomedical oriented companies everything will uh, get the opportunity as a firmware developer so after completing this course you can get you will be very proficient with uh, embedded c programming because we are using we are going to use a use a uh, embedded c for uh, developing our firmware and in this course itself you can get the knowledge about the, what are the compilers we are going to use to develop that uh, programming providing you a certificate as you have trained as a firmware developer so the uh, this is are the some topics related with uh, firmware development training i have already told about the communication protocols in that uh, we need to communicate uh, each module one another so for the communication we are uh, we have to go to wired and wireless communication so why with the uh, wired communication uh, there have many communications like i2c spi uart everything wireless communication there have wifi bluetooth so these are all under this course in this training uh, we are going to do three projects it will be it will be uh, comes with uh, some microcontrollers each product each project will be cover with the uh, different microcontrollers with 8 bit 16 bit and 32 bit mostly firmware uh, development will be in uh, three models it will be a basic model and a middle model and a high level model with basic model uh, small scale model so it 
will be um, developed with 8 bit microcontrollers the operation will be very small and the peripherals need to interface is also very small so first project is uh, in the first project we are going to use a 8 bit microcontroller so it's a very simple project just we are going to interface with the uh, only hardware interfacing keypad and uh, lcd to display the password we are entering and the uh, door locking system that's all so in the second project we are going with the uh, rfid based attendance system so here the input will be with the uh, rfid the rfid card reader will be interfaced with some communication protocol uh, here we are using to admega microcontroller inbuilt in that we will uh, project is a biomedical monitoring system monitor some biomedical parameters like uh, uh, temperature respiration etc etc here we are using, going to use uh, arm microcontroller so the three projects are uh, categorized uh, by their uh, functionalities and the uh, peripherals which we are using in that but according to that we are we are categorizing these three projects so after completing these three projects you will be very familiar with all types of microcontrollers and uh, before starting this training session we have some system requirements like we need a uh, uh, windows os and uh, have some ides to develop our uh, firmware like a uh, kale mp lab avr and uh, Proteus is a software to uh, verify our out output with the uh, hardware. So this is a very important software we are going to use in our uh, training. So here I have mentioned some resources to get additional knowledge about uh, firmware development. Here I have mentioned some books for C programming and embedded C programming and firmware development. So there are some websites also I, mean, I have given in here for your additional references. So as a part of this curriculum, uh, we will uh, discuss about some mock interview questions in every session. So uh, what are the things we covered in the session? We, at the end of the session, we can, uh, we will uh, discuss about some mock, mock interview questions because uh, we are going with uh, career oriented uh, training. So the industrial uh, people will expect some knowledge from from us so for that uh, interview questions are designed these are the questions uh, mostly asked in uh, mncs and uh, automation companies when you are going for this uh, formal development question here i have mentioned some questions about microcontrollers and uh, basic uh, c programming so the questions uh, will be in both uh, c programming and uh, c or c++ programming uh, and uh, microcontrollers according to this i have designed some questions so these are all the things in our demo class once again i'm thanking you to giving me this opportunity